everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and today I'm here with a quick video to teach you a little bit about dry brushing. So you may or may not know what dry brushing is, but let me explain what kind of an effect you're gonna get with this technique. So if you take a look at these products that I have here, these are all a dry brushing technique. Some of them have come in this way, and some of them we've actually created like this. So these three windows here, these wooden windows, um, have been manufactured like this. So they were made to look like this. Um, whereas this welcome sign is something that we actually did using um, this kind of a technique. So there's different ways that you can go about this. You can do a really heavy dry brush. You can do different colors of the dry brushing, layering those to create an effect. Um, but the, the point of this whole technique is it's super easy. It's really fun and you can create like a rustic-y kind of a finish with it. So um, I have a shutter here, a wooden shutter, and the best, one of the best things that you wanna, one of the things you really wanna look for is what kind of wood do I have? If you have a wood that's really, really smooth and slick, um, a dry brush is a little bit hard, harder of finish to achieve. Whereas if you have wood that's a little bit more rustic-y, it has a little bit more texture to it, uh, it's a lot easier to produce a dry brush finish. So um, like palette woods, texture woods, um, like oak that has a grain in it, those are really fun to create a dry brush finish on. So uh, this shutter here is, it's kind of rough. Like it's not smooth wood, it has texture to it. So this is, you know, something that came in like this and now I'm gonna just add a little bit of color to it. So I'm using three awesome chalk paint colors, probably three of my favorite colors in the line, French linen, pure white, and duck egg. So I'm gonna use these three colors together and I'm gonna layer them until I like what I want. How am I deciding which one to put first? I don't know. You know, it's just kind of what, what I'm going for. You can go light to dark, dark to light, colored, then dark, colored, then light. It really doesn't matter. So I dip my brush into a little bit of paint. Okay, you saw that. Dip my brush into a little bit of paint. I wipe it off on the edge of the can. Depending on how heavy-handed you are, if you're heavy-handed, wipe it off on the can and then offload it onto something. Um, you know, I have a drop cloth here, but if you don't have that at home, I wouldn't recommend doing it on your table. You might want to use a towel to do that. These are our shop towels, my favorite, favorite rags to use while waxing. Then when I go to put this on, the really, the key thing is to be very light handed. I am barely touching my brush onto the surface. That's really the key. Um, where people get really messed up in this is when you jab your brush down and then wipe. You wanna almost start off of the board and just gently let the brush kiss on the edge. Um, when you don't see any more paint, then obviously you need to add a little bit more. So again, I'm starting off on the edge. I'm letting this come on very, very lightly. And do you see how it's just kind of picking up on all of that texture on there? Um, I'm gonna go kind of in the direction of the grain of the wood, okay? And this is really your preference. You could do as little or as much as you want to. And because, if, as long as you're using Annie's paint, um, you know, you really don't have to wait very long in between layers. Annie's paint dries so quickly, so it's really easy to just layer this up and make it look fabulous in no time. And you can continue on, you can keep going with your French linen. Uh, or you can go ahead and start with another color, and maybe that's what I'll do here. So now I think, all right, that looks pretty, but let me add a little bit of brightness to this. I'll add a little bit of white. So again, I'm dipping, I'm offloading, and I'm just very lightly kissing on the surface with my brush. The more colors you add, the more dimension it's gonna give you, the more of a, a layered look it's gonna give you, but it's really, you know, your call. You can get a nice variety of colors, maybe some colors that are in your home, pull out some colors from pillows or uh, your window treatments, whatever you have around the house. Other wall decor. Okay, so do you see now I have the two colors on there. That looks kind of fun. Um, and now I'm gonna add my third color, my duck egg. And this one, oh no, that, that was French linen. It comes off very easily on your hands, so don't get upset if you have gotten paint all over your hands. It, 
it does stain your clothes. <laughs> so if you get it on your clothes, you do want to get it off quickly. Um, okay, so I have a little bit of duck egg on my brush. Now I'll do these center panels with the duck egg. And do you see, I'm just going very, very lightly. Very, very lightly. And once you get a hang of this, you can go a little bit heavier. Um, but you don't want to start out going heavy because with a dry brush, and I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what I mean. If you have too much paint on your brush, and you can see there's kind of like a, a little glob there, there's some globbies here. If you go too hard, now I have, do you see, I have a streak here and I have a streak here. That is, you can't really take that away. Like if I try to rub that, now I'm smearing it. Um, that's when you're gonna start to get frustrated with the dry brush. Now I can fix that because I've done this a bazillion times. How I'll fix it is I'll let this dry and then I'll layer a couple more colors over it. So that's, you know, that's the easy way to just go ahead and fix that. But the point is, is that you wanna really make sure that your paint is offloaded um, and you're, you're really, you're barely touching the board. You're very, very lightly kissing the board. And you can see that this guy here, this panel here, is much more subtle and it looks natural as opposed to this guy here. Again, you can just keep layering this depending on the kind of look that you want to go for. Um, I would even probably add a little bit of the blue on my edges. You can really get fun with this. And you can see here how you can really transform this piece that was really solid and boring wood with just a little bit of dry brushing. So super easy. So I'll just show you this guy here. This is another one we did. We did this actually at one of our Pinterest Live classes, which if you're in the area, we would love for you to come by. You actually make a really fun piece of home decor that you can display in your home. We always offer a personalized option, um, your last name or an established date or an address, something like that. And this, and you always learn a technique. So this was a heavy dry brush that we learned in this particular class. Um, lots and lots of fun. Dessert, drinks, girlfriends. What else could you possibly ask for? So come and visit us at one of our stores, Huntington or Massapequa. We're here seven days a week in Huntington, six days a week in Massapequa. Or shop online 24-7 at sweetpieces.com. We can't wait to see you.